Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Tankfro and welcome back to another Minecraft build tutorial. Today, on how it's made, I'll be showing you guys how to make a very nice and fancy dandy medieval apothecary. So, let's get right into it. Okay, as always, I have laid up all the blocks I will be needing for this build, and as you can see, it's not really all that much. Okay, so to begin, you want to build a 7x11 stone brick rectangle that is 4 blocks high. The next thing you want to do is build a stripped spruce frame right on top of where the base is, and you'll notice that it is offset by 1. Now, what you'll end up getting are these rectangles that are 4 by 3. You'll get 2 on the front and back, and you'll get 3 on either side, like so. Now, to give it a little bit of extra detail, you want to get some of these spruce stairs and put them on the corners and where these pillars line up. Furthermore, you can get some of the spruce strap doors and put them right where the stairs are. Next, let's focus on the roof. You'll see that we'll want to make this very nice outline made out of the stone bricks, and take note that it actually starts below this top pillar, like so. What you'll end up having is this almost snaking pattern, using very few of the actual stone brick blocks and a lot more of the stairs. Finally, to give it a nice design on the very top, use more of the stairs to give it this very nice ridge effect. And then, what you want to do is get some of that dark prismarine blocks and stairs and follow the stone brick outline that we've already created. Now you'll notice that to give it a little bit of extra detail, I've used some of the regular prismarine blocks and stairs to give it some splotches here and there. There's one extra detail that you should take note of. The beam that used to be running here has been replaced with a dark prismarine on either side. Now that we've built the roof and the frame, it's time to fill in our building. Using bone blocks and some of the smooth diorite, you just want to fill in every single part that we've had missing. And use some regular grey stained glass in between to make some very nice windows. To give the windows a little bit of extra detail, you can give the bottom window some potted plants like so, and give the top window a nice design using some of the trap doors and some oak slabs. Don't forget to give the bottom a little bit of extra detail by giving it a nice hanging sign to show people what this place is selling. Now, that's pretty much it for the build, but as always, no build is truly finished until the exterior looks just as good as the build itself. Thank you all very much for watching, and as always, keep on building.